Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and so sorry that it has been so long since you've seen my face on here. I think most of you know if you've been watching my videos, I was on maternity leave and it has recently come to a close. I am back to work and so I really just didn't film anything for the last month or so because I was holding my baby for every single nap that I could because I knew I wouldn't have the chance once I went back to work and so that left me really with like no time to ever film anything. So apologies for not prioritizing all of you. You know that I love this channel and I love all of you who watch. I just, I had to put that time into just spending a little extra time with my baby before heading back to work. But now that I am back to work, I can find some more time here and there to squeeze it in. Both my kiddos are in daycare three days a week. My mom watches them the other two days so I can kind of figure out some time to film in between working and everything. It's a little bit of a trip after being off for six months to go back to work. It's also a little bit of a trip to be back filming again too, funny enough. But I'm here and I'm excited to share with you an update in my Shop My Stash series. You might be wondering a little bit where my other two project pans are. And to be honest, I'm not going to be filming April updates because I really barely wore makeup between my last update and now. And so I figured I would just skip the April updates, maybe film a few other videos this month, and then in May, start back up doing my regular project pan updates. So if you're wondering where they're at, you'll see them in May. But I do consider this project a project pan. That is because when I select the products from my collection, I have a minimum amount of uses that I need to use the product to be able to roll it out and roll something new in for this project. And so I need to hit five uses on every single product before I can select new products to roll in. I hit that usage on everything except for one lip product. So that lip product I'll just keep in for this next rotation. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and talk about the products that I have been using and working on. And then we can go ahead and put them back in my collection and select new products to work on for the next month or so. Pulling out my notebook where I tracked all my uses you gotta flip to the right page. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with base products. So I had in both my Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop and then also this NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. So I used my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer 15 times and then I used this foundation five times. The five times that I did use this, I mixed it with the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer because I feel like when I wear this on its own, it looks a bit cakey. But when they're mixed together, I actually really liked how it looked and it definitely gave more coverage to this. So it just gave me a very nice, like I'd say like medium type coverage and it was good. I enjoyed pairing them together. I love wearing this on its own. I do it all the time. It's just super light and easy and it's definitely something I wanna pan this year. So as you can see, like we're making some good progress and I'm glad that I got the 15 uses on this. I think this was also something that I maybe mentioned about panning. I, I don't remember. It was definitely something I wanted to pan last year, which obviously, as you can see, that did not happen. But I don't remember if I selected as something I wanna pan this year or for maybe I just gave up considering the fact that I didn't get it done last year. I'm not sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. I need to go back and look. But either way, I got five more uses out of this and confirmed that I do like wearing these two together. The next two are bronzers. The first is this OG bronzing stick. This is the sculpted face stick in the shade Amber. So I've never really used much like cream or liquid cheek products, but I was sent this as PR, which was pretty cool, and I used this five times, and I actually really enjoyed it, so I took a brush and dabbed it in, and then worked it in the hollows of my cheeks, and up along my forehead, and then down here along my jawline, and I thought it looked really nice. I did end up layering bronzer on top of it most times, and so this is my Guerlain bronzer in the shade medium cool, and I used this 11 times. So anytime that I used this, I would layer this on top, and then I also wore this obviously by itself a few times, but considering that I've never really used anything like this, I actually really enjoyed it. I liked how it sculpted my face, which I think is the idea behind it. I never just applied it directly to the skin. I'd like to test it doing that, but I was pleasantly surprised with how this worked and looked. And this is just a beautiful bronzer. I love having this one in my collection, so I was happy to get the 11 uses on that as well. The highlight that I was working on is my Benefit Cookie Highlight. I do have a little bit of pan in this, which I love. I just 
love having pan in my highlights and I do have pan in several of them, but they, I feel like are kind of impossible to finish, but I digress. I use this 12 times and this is just such a pretty highlight. I really do just love how it looks and it's like one of the only ones or if not the only one that I have in this shade. So it's a little bit unique in my collection as well. So big fan of this one. Glad I got 12 uses on it. And then the last three products are lip products. So this Kiko Milano lip pencil in the shade 534. This was rolled in from last time. I didn't hit the amount of uses on it that I needed to, but I've now since hit five uses on it so I can roll it out. And this one right now is just, as you can see, like a little bit darker of a shade. Like it's not my typical nude shade that I prefer. So I'm just honestly not grabbing it as much as I would something that would be like more of like the typical nude lip color that I'm wearing. And then I was also working on this Dose of Colors liquid lip in the shade Flirty. I did use this five times. I love this one on its own. I also love it layered under lip gloss and I'm working on a lip gloss in my regular project pan. So I enjoyed wearing it on its own and then under that lip gloss for those five uses. And then for this lipstick, this is my Oma lip in the shade Coretta. I only wore this twice. I'm wearing it today, so I need to get three more uses on it. So this one is going to stick around for this month. I do really like the shade. I just think I wanted to hit five uses on this one that I was more focused on that and also using my lip gloss that's in my project pan. So that is it for the update and how I felt about all the products that I've been working on. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in my collection and then we'll select new products to work on for this month. Starting with base, I think I'm going to roll in something different. I'm, th oops. I'm thinking I'm going to roll in this makeup forever HD skin foundation. It's definitely a favorite in my collection and now that I'm back to work, I think I won't mind having something a little bit fuller coverage to use. So I think I'm going to roll that one in, but I also love having something that's just like a skin tint or something lighter. I have this serum foundation from Tarte, so I think I'm going to pull this one in too and just use both of these together. And then I'm working on my hourglass powder in my regular project pan, so I don't need a powder, but I do need a bronzer. And I just used the Guerlain and the OG bronzer, so really I'm faced with the decision of my Milani bronzer or my Marc Jacobs bronzer. I think I'm gonna go with my Marc Jacobs bronzer. I don't know, remember the last time that I had this in this project. So I'm gonna work on that. I do need a highlight. And since we already have a big bronzer, you know, what's the harm? Let's just pull in a big highlight. So I'm gonna select my Jaclyn Hill highlight. This one I feel like I could use forever and never make any progress on it. The highlights are just like so tightly pressed, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull that in. I usually just mix all the shades together when I'm working on that one. I have my blush in my project pan, but I think I'm gonna pull in one of these OG blushes. Like I said, I really enjoyed working on that bronzing stick. I have the shade Carnelian, and then I also have the shade Topaz. I think I'm gonna go with Topaz. So I'll pull that one in, something to work on as a blush. I'm not gonna pull in an eyeshadow because I'm working very hard with the eyeshadows. I am I am trying to make progress on the eyeshadows that are in my eyeshadow project pan right now and it is not easy, let me tell you. So I'm gonna leave those out of it. And I'm also working on an eyeliner in my regular project pan so I'm gonna skip that as well. But I do wanna bring in some lip products. Something I don't know if I've ever like truly worked on is this kind of lip crayon in the shade Parfait. I don't even know what brand this is from, but I think I'm gonna try, give this one a try. I have a lip gloss that I'm working on and then I also have that lipstick that I need to finish from Oma. So I think I might just leave it here. Really small shot my stash, but I think I can make good progress on all of these. So just to quickly reiterate what I'm going to be working on. For base, I have my Makeup Forever HD Skin foundation. I have this Tarte Hydro Flex Serum foundation, and then I have my Marc Jacobs bronzer, my Jaclyn Hill highlighter, this OG sculpted face stick for blush, and then I have these two lipsticks that I'm gonna work on. So that is it. Pretty simple, but I am very happy with this roundup. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, just getting to see what I picked out. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.